Hey guys, this is Neil with Catalyst Machine Works, and I'm going to talk to you today a little about this uh, this new machine we've been working on for a number of weeks. This is the Smooth Operator, it's freestyle frame, and uh, I'm going to talk to you about a design aspect with that I've included into this guy recently. So this is a new revision of this assembly, a new major revision of this assembly. Um, I've got two other videos. The first video is the fourth revision of the monster and then the uh, second video is the fifth revision and then this uh, this is the sixth so if you want to go and see um, some of the where I discuss some of the uh, design elements of this guy go watch those other two videos and this one I'm just going to discuss the recent changes that I made so I'll go ahead and get started um, this this uh, came by way of a team pilot suggestion, um, and it centers around access to the components. Um, you know, if you if you if you crash out in the field, and you want to go ahead and, and replace some components, this makes it very easy to do that. Uh, it was Gabby Chavez. We were talking on our team chat back and forth, and uh, he suggested, "Hey, if you want to have better access, why don't you split?" the back end of this thing so you can remove the back end plate and then you have total access to the flight controller and I thought to myself he's insane what the hell is he you can't do that and, <laughs> and, then, uh, and then I got the cat out and I opened this up and I started to look at it and then I realized holy shit I actually said that I was like holy shit He's right. You can actually do this, and it'll actually work. And so I'll show you how that works. But uh, before I do that, I want to show you that the uh, the bottom of the thing, you've already got access to, let me hide this plate. You take this plate off by removing these two screws. Then you have access to the VTX in this hole and the receiver. All right, so there's how you get access. Oh, crap. There, there's how you get access to those. Put that plate back on. And now... How do I get access to this uh, flight controller? The flight controller is actually mounted in the rear of the craft, and then you've got the ESC here in the front, or the middle, rather. So what I did is I put a split in this top plate, and these two top plate pieces, the rear and the front, which are two millimeter thick carbon fiber, they line up perfectly. They're on the same exact line. And if you can see, you can see where this thing exists, okay? So it bridges the gap, or I'm sorry, it bridges the distance and connects this arm and this side of the craft, all of this, over to here, right? So you've got these four screws that's creating this, this truss here on the top. Then this side of it, the front plate, is connecting these screws and then it's sort of interlocked here then you also have two of these uh, one millimeter thick washers that are compressing the entire assembly together you've got these long screws that run through this assembly uh, this this scenario here is this design element the way this works is from our America racing frame okay it's just an adaptation of that all right and so if you know a little bit about the engineering and mechanics in general, you'll be able to look at this and then after some thinking about it, realize that while I have put a split in here, the structural integrity of this assembly has only been reduced a bit. So I, I, am, I am retaining the majority of the structural integrity of the assembly even with this little split through the through the plate here and just the way that it, it all kind of works out so it, it worked out really well so let me show you what it looks like here so what you do you take these screws out okay take these out take these screws out and pull these two plates off you have to imagine that these screws are gone and pull this plate off and there we go. You have full access to the flight controller. You can take it out, put a new one in. You can work on it. You can solder on it, whatever the hell you want to do. Okay, so let's put all that back. 
All right, so that's how that works. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put the plates all back. All right, so those are back in place. Now, you also have the ESC to deal with. Um, let's say you're out there flying around and you, uh, you hit some sweet, sweet power loops and then you smashed it into the ground and uh, for whatever reason you burned out your ESC, which is a terrible thing if you got an all-in-one ESC, um, but it happened and you're bummed and you happen to have another ESC there on site and you can solder it up. Now you need to get access to this thing. Well, instead of having to tear down the entire thing, what you can do is you can go, you guessed it, you can take out this screw, this screw, take these plates off, or rotate them out of the way, take these screws out, and then this plate is going to come off. There you go. And now you have access to the ESC. So you can work on it, you can solder on it, you can put a new motor on. Let's say you burn up a motor and you just want to unsolder that motor and put a new one on, you can do that. Uh, you can put a new ESC on there. That's how that works. So let me put that back in place. All right, so there we go. There are the changes. Um, I can't think of anything else to do with this thing. I think it's pretty damn packed with features and goodies. An awesomeness. There's awesome sauce that's been distributed all over this thing. So I can't wait to do some prototypes and we're going to fly them and beat the crap out of them and see what breaks and adjust as needed and then get you guys some of these frames and do a production run. I'm really excited. Hope you guys like it.